All right, guys, we are back. Been away from the shop for a few days, as you saw in the last video. We went out to the desert and had a good time out on the desert, getting away from all the noise, all the planes, trains, cars, dogs. Oh my gosh, it was so nice to get out there and spend a night with my son. So, with that being said, we are back into the shop today. We are going to be getting this shelf off of here and moving it down over here above the um, toolbox that you can't see down that way. So, Let's get to it and we'll see you on the other side. Right now, we're gonna get all of this crap off the counters. This is a digital timer. We're gonna be installing this here in a couple episodes for our light that's outside. Um, Miss Homesteader, she's really bothered a lot by the light being left on. I turn it on at night and then I go in and I go to bed. And then when I come out in the morning, well, when I I go to bed way late at night, and so then I, you know, late to bed, late to rise, then I get up and she's kind of upset because it's been wasting power, which is fine. She has every right to be upset, you know, because here on the homestead, we're trying to save money, debt-free homesteaders. And so if Mr. Homesteader's leaving the lights on, it's not saving any money. So with this uh, timer, I can set the timer and that light will come on outside. I just like the added security. You know, when you've got light being shed down on something, you know, people, people have, people are less likely to rob you in broad daylight. I'm not saying they won't do it. And I'm sure there's plenty of people will comment below and go, oh, well, BS. There was this one time that I got robbed. Remember this stuff? Remember this stuff? We use this in the truck camper build. I'll put a link to that video right here. That was actually the camper, truck camper that I was using in the last video. Use this spray adhesive and this um, great stuff. Be careful with this great stuff though. It's easy to get, let it get away from you. These are some lights that I picked up. They run off a remote. I'm gonna get some Velcro and I'm gonna stick these in the ceiling of the truck bed camper. That way I can have some light in there. Again, another video to come.
so nice to get out here in the shop again. Like I said, I've made a personal goal to try to make it out here one hour a week. If I can make it out here more, awesome. All right, cool. We've got some shelves. Um, we've got the shelf moved away from there to over here. Now I'm just kind of contemplating on whether or not how much of the French cleat I want to put up here because I got this window here behind this insulation. Part of me wants to just block it off and the other part of me is like, no, leave the window. So I could do a little bit of French cleat here and a little bit of French cleat here. And then behind the camera right there is another workbench and that's probably an eight foot or nine foot span that I could really get carried away with some French cleat over there. So I may, I could do some here or just say to heck with it and just put more shelves on this side and just do all my French cleat on that side. Or I could mix and match a little bit. I could do some French cleat over here and some French cleat over there. Um, I was kind of thinking about continuing to do a high shelf across the top um, up here because there's no need for me to go that high with the French cleat. Um, I guess I could go that high with the French cleat and make shelves that attach the, to the French cleat. Um, but I don't know exactly. I, I, I was thinking about putting a, a big shelf up here so that I can slide some totes with different items in it that I'm not always getting into. Um, and then, like I said, I could have the French cleat wall down here holding some of those miscellaneous tools. So, um, I know I'm going to definitely put French cleat on the wall behind. So, what are your thoughts? You know, leave your comments below. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, we'll see you on the next one when we start either putting in some more shelves or we start actually getting the French cleat going. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next one.